for years, I've wanted to connect this with this. Why? Because this is always with me, and this is like a really cool light. Welcome to another Up Close Tech Talk. Today, we're going to go over the ADJ Airstream DMX Bridge. Let's do it. Now when you heard the word Airstream, you probably thought a little IR transmitter thing that I talked about before. No, not even close. The little IR transmitter connects to your iOS device and uses it to control your lights. The DMX Bridge connects to your iOS device and uses it to control your lights. See the difference? Big difference. The Airstream DMX Bridge makes a Wi-Fi signal which your phone connects to and then either using DMX out or using uh, Wi-Fi out, you can control anything that has DMX. With the IR transmitter, you only get to control so many lights and it's so far away. With the, DM, with the Airstream DMX bridge, you can control anything that's DMXable. Let's go over some of the features of this unit. You have your Wi-Fi antenna, you have your power switch, you have your Wi-Fi antenna, you have your power in, you have the DMX out 3 pin, you have USB, and you have an LED indicator. Now the USB is to update your unit in the future. Alright, so I got the Stinger 2 sitting right there, and I got a Wi-Fi bar QA5 sitting behind me. What you do is you select the unit you want to use, and then you select channels, and then you can turn it up. So I'm going to turn up the, I got one red on, um, let's see, I'll go to drop a green, boom, just like that. Let's take a detailed look through the app and see exactly what you can do. When the unit is plugged in, it'll pop up and say ADJ Airstream DMX. So let's connect to that. And the password is Airstream. And then it will connect to it. And now we go over to here and click that. Awesome little icon right there. Right here is where you put in your fixtures, so you click the little patch button. As you can see, I've already put in the Stinger 2. So let's just put in a fixture right here. Let's do a Wi-Fi bar QA522 channel. We'll patch in two of them, and boom, it's done. And the really cool thing is, if I have a light that they don't have in a profile, I can go along and change all this and make my own custom profiles. As you have seen, I've already, they didn't have the Mega Bar 50 RGBRC, so I just made a profile for that. I can patch in two of those. So let's go into the bridge settings. Now you can turn it on or off. When you do turn it off, your Wi-Fi signal will be better. You can change the network name and the password and the channel. Like let's do both QA fives. Now I can right here are all my channels. So now when I click save. I'll put it on 10. You can set a picture that will appear as a button. So let's see, I'm just gonna go, so I'm just gonna choose that right there. And that little picture will pop up. You can also do a fade in time. Now you can enable the flash button. What that will do, when you're on your scenes, when you hit that, it's just gonna, it's just gonna flash. Say, when I turn that off and save it, just override it. Go to scenes and it will just turn right on. In your effects, you can make effects. Now, this one right here is for your moving head. So you can create a circle or you can draw your own little line. You can do a color effect. So, as you can see, it's going to change colors through there. Now, the flash effect, be able to click these and make a flash effect for them. Now those will start all flashing in that order. I just tapped. Now let's go into our shows. Now we can assign a new show. So step one is empty. When you tip it sideways, your top and bottom buttons will disappear. Which is kind of handy, it gives you more space. Now you can tap through here, and it, what this is, does is select all the scenes that you have. We'll have that go for 10 seconds. Click save. And that's it. Now when we go back here, we got that show. Now some of you may wonder, can you use the Wi-Fi out and the DMX out at the same time? Well, super cool, you can. I'm doing it right now. The Wi-Fi bar QA5 sitting behind me 
is being talked to by this and the Stinger 2 is being run through DMX. So you can run both of them at the same time. That is super cool. So if you're a mobile DJ and you're looking for something really simple, you can get this thing and control anything that's DMX with your phone or your iPad. Now it is better to place this closer to your phone since the Wi-Fi is a lot stronger than the Wi-Fi. It comes with a magnet right there, so it can stick to anything metal. So if you have any questions at all, please leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Well, thanks for watching. If you want to watch my last Tech Talk, click right here. If you want to download the Airstream DMX app, click right here. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.